you cross the line. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Simon Cowell was humiliated. We're normal people and we have fun. You're saying you're normal, Simon? Yeah. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at times Simon's been brought back down to earth or just had an unfortunate moment that probably wasn't good for his ego. Got any favorite Simon Cal moments of your own? Let us know in those comments below. Number 10, Banto with Demi Lovato. We're trying to reach to a younger demographic. <laughs> yes. And I just don't feel like we're gonna accomplish that when he's showing more cleavage than Britney and I are. When Demi was a judge on The X Factor, they definitely gave Simon a run for his money. There wasn't an episode where they didn't put him in his place. Sure, it was all in a joking manner, but the two had so many back and forths, it was very entertaining to watch. Remember when Demi told both Simon and a contestant to never condescend them again? Okay, the both of you never, ever call me woman again. Simon was left utterly speechless. Demi also wasn't scared to tell Simon that he's rude and disrespectful, basically calling him an a-hole. You are very annoying. Thanks. <laughs> How does that? How's that? Well, you are. You could be a bit of an ass. I know. How's that? <laughs> it's no wonder Simon said Demi was annoying. Get him, Demi. Number nine, read your contracts. The X Factor was a launchpad for a lot of singers, but Fifth Harmony was definitely one of the show's biggest success stories. However, over the years, the girls in the group became very vocal about their treatment under Simon Cowell's contract. We want to keep our fans like engaged. We want to give them new music. Also, we want new music because touring the same yes. songs over and over again <laughs> is over exhausting. And, and songs that we were given. So right. boring. Oh. One of the members, Lauren, took frequent jabs about music industry contracts. A few years later, the group's lawyer revealed that Fifth Harmony had the worst contract she has ever seen over her years of working in the music industry. And yep, that was the contract they had with Simon Cowell and his company. Number 8. I Don't Do What Simon Says Another popular girl group under Simon's label is Little Mix. Mixers have been suspicious of Psycho over the years and were rejoiced when the group finally left the label. Lil Mix revealed that they've had a massive argument with Simon and have to put their foot down many times over the years. And have you spoken yeah. to the girls about it? No. In their hit song called Not A Pop Song, they sing the lyrics, I don't do what Simon says, which many believe is a reference to Simon Cowell himself. I don't do what Simon says. Way to stick it to the industry man himself and put him in his place. Claps for Lil Mix. Number seven, Mel B stands up to Simon. We're normal people and we have fun. You're saying you're normal, Simon? Yeah. Mel B butted heads with Simon many times when she was an America's Got Talent judge. When Simon told her that she was successful without being able to dance, Mel decided to take matters into her own hands. You were successful without being able to dance. Well, she took a drink in her hands and spilled it over Simon. And she did it twice. Don't stop with me. It was clear the boss man didn't like to be put in his place, but he definitely should have seen this one coming. You don't come for a Spice Girl about her dance abilities and expect to get away with it. Rookie move, Simon. Rookie move. Number six, Simon decided to sing. Mr. Cowell knows how to create record-breaking musicians, but does he know how to sing himself? I don't know what you're talking well, why about. Why don't we listen to no, you no, sing? Why I don't am we? Not gonna Can sing, you give no. us a sample? You know the those that can't do teach saying. This is kind of like that. In a rare moment, Simon decided to show people his singing chops, and we all have to thank Demi Lovato for that. I would, I've just got a bit of a sore throat today. <laughs> they said that if the contestant on the stage had a British accent, he'd sound what they imagined Simon would sound like when he sings. <laughs> So Simon had to show whether or not that was true. And to be honest, it doesn't look like he enjoyed it one bit. Number five, Lippy Girl calls Simon on stage. Kids with attitude make some of the best entertainment during talent auditions. These guys got completely booed during their performance and the judges eventually X them out. You don't remember me, but 
when Simon told them that they're not that good, one member of the trio told him to come on stage and sing himself because it's not as easy as it looks. Girls, can I be honest with you? Uh, it's one of the worst groups I've ever heard in my life. You want to come up here and sing, Simon? Because I'd like to see you face that lot. Everyone was shook, but it didn't end there. The contestant had no issues giving Simon some sass and telling him to sing and she'll judge. You know, and to compare yourself with the Spice Girls, it's just crazy. Yeah, but the Spice Girls couldn't sing anyway. Simon called her lippy and sent her off sticking out his tongue. He didn't expect someone to have an attitude like that. Number four, One Direction rejected him. One Direction was, without a doubt, one of the most successful British boy bands ever. But the success didn't come without hard work and plenty of conflicts with the boss man. The boys revealed they had no problem standing up to Simon when he suggested singing songs they weren't comfortable with. But it looks like Simon had a tough time getting over the boys' splits and distancing themselves from their boss. In 2016, a report stated that no members of One Direction ever tried to contact him, which didn't look good for Simon's ego. He admitted he felt disappointed they hadn't approached him for career advice. See you later. Number three, it was so bad he walked off. It's safe to say that it takes a lot to impress Simon Cowell if you ever audition in front of him. It's actually much easier to get him embarrassed and absolutely enraged by your act. Oh, I've just noticed the reindeer is wearing tap shoes. Yes! <laughs> Catherine and Joe proved that with their performance as Elsa and Sven from Frozen. And let's just say it didn't go as well as they thought it would. I'm not being rude, you but are. what the bloody hell was that? Not only did Simon buzz them, he couldn't understand why people loved them. After an argument with Amanda, he was so enraged, he had to walk away to cool off his nerves. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Simon, here's some advice. Breathe in, breathe out, stay zen. Number two, an unfortunate performance. Let's see what's gonna happen tonight. Will you help me welcome the stage David Williams and Simon Cowell? <laughs> Ventriloquist acts are absolutely fascinating to watch, but many believe that this particular act took things too far when he asked Simon and David to join him on stage. Simon was forced to play a puppet, and to be honest, he looked absolutely embarrassed throughout the act. He ends up walking off stage while David embraces his puppet role. Oh, like it, squeezy one, that's lovely. The comments on the original YouTube video agree that Simon was humiliated and looked uncomfortable throughout the whole performance. And at the end, Simon seems to realize that it was the producers that told the act to bring the judges on stage. But that didn't end well for them. <laughs> so when the credits roll up later on, you're going to see the names of the people who produced this show. When you read about them being murdered in two days' time... <laughs> Number one, Simon gets egged. Now this one is just simply bizarre. Opera singers Richard and Adam Johnson were in the middle of their final live performance when all of a sudden things went weird. A woman, who dressed like she belonged to the orchestra that showed up behind her, started throwing eggs at Simon. Richard and Adam had no idea what was going on, but they continued to sing. Simon then commented on the incident, saying he doesn't like eggs in general. I did actually send a, a tweet out yesterday saying I don't like eggs, and I really don't like <laughs> eggs now. Later, it was revealed that the egg thrower was indeed a part of the orchestra and was angry because they were asked to lip sync instead of sing live. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.